Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about implementation of SCD1 in Azure Data Factory, that is slowly changing dimensions 1. Okay, what does this mean? So let me first show you the input data. Here in the Excel, you can see the Aadhaar related details. This is just for demo purpose, don't consider it as actual details okay so here we have few columns citizen id citizens first name last name city address and pin code okay in scd what happens is that the dimension slowly changes for example one person's last name changed after marriage okay it changed from aurora to xyz so that change we have to implement through SCD and the updation in SCD1 is in such a way that the historical data we will not store. The old data, let's say Dia Aurora has been changed to Dia Gupta, so Dia Aurora won't be saved. Aurora will get updated to Gupta. Okay, here the dimension will be slowly updated and new records will be inserted. Okay, let's say a new person's data has come that will be inserted in the target. So if we go to the whiteboard and try to understand it, slowly changing dimension one. First is there is no historical data which is maintained. Okay, old records are not considered. Okay, old record will not consider, we will only consider the new set of records, the updates which are happening or new insertions. Then the dimensions are slowly changed. Okay. Dimensions are slowly changed. And we are doing upsert means we are doing update of the existing records which are there in the target or if not update we are inserting new records insertion of new records and update of existing records we are doing in scd1 let's go to the data factory and try to implement this scenario in our case we have seen that the source data we have kept in a csv and this csv is uploaded in the storage account in azure portal so we'll go to the azure portal here we are inside the cloud knowledge storage gen2 account inside container input where we have aadhaar changes.csv file and the content is the same which we have seen here in the csv okay the contents are same so for scd we will take this storage account csv file as input where slowly the dimensions can change or new records can come and the target will consider as a database azure sql database the sql database will be the ck sql db okay here we are going to insert or perform the absurd operation scd operation so yes let's go to the adf we have here adf cloud knowledge we'll go to the author section we'll create a new pipeline we'll name this pipeline as pipeline scd1 and we are going to take data flow activity in the canvas because we are working with the data. So, so, so we'll go to the settings section of data flow and create data flow. The data flow name will be SCD1. We'll add source here now in the data flow. So click on add source. In the option, we will select the data set under the source settings. We'll click on plus new and this time we have to connect to the ADLS container. So we have to select ADLS or Azure Data Lake Storage and to select it. Click continue. Our file is delimited text CSV. Select the link service. Then browse to the file path. The file path is input container. Inside the input container, we have our Aadhaar changes.csv. So we'll select this file. We'll click OK. 
first row has header we'll leave the setting as is click ok this looks fine rest of the changes we need not do rest of the settings as is we'll go to the source options no changes projection it will show us the projection since it's csv it is showing us the type string then we can go to the data preview to preview the data for previewing the data we have to enable data flow debug option so let's enable it in the meantime we can go to the sql database here in the database we couldn't see any table related to aadhaar which we are going to create now so we'll go back data flow is enabled we'll click on refresh yeah so the data appeared all the six columns have displayed now our job is to load this data into the sink so we'll click on plus sign and add destination that is azure sql database so we'll select the data set from the first tab and select as azure sql database click continue select the link service we have to create a new table so we'll click on new table schema name will give as dbo and the table name as our dhar details click okay we'll go to the setting section of the sync here we are inserting for now we will leave this setting as is now we are going to validate this data flow we we'll go to the pipeline validate the pipeline as well publish the changes and perform a debug run let's click on debug and wait for the execution to complete and the execution completed we'll go to the target database here we'll refresh the table name we gave was aadhaar details so we'll select the rows here we could see that the data loaded from the source we have loaded the data into the database that is azure sql database which was our sync or target now what happens is that in our csv the csv if we click on edit this first row the citizen last name got changed from aurora last name got changed from aurora to gupta and we are going to save this okay the input file has been modified now our target is to get these details into the database as well without storing the older row okay in upper level of scds we maintain the historical data okay that is dia aurora as well as dia gupta would be saved in the database but in our case it is scd1 so we are not going to consider that so we will go back here in the data flow we'll go to the data flow section here we are going to click on plus after the source and add a row modifier transformation which is alter row select alter row we are going to alter the rows and in the alter row settings we have output stream name description same input stream name coming from the source next is alter row conditions which is enter an expression to match rows for insert delete update or upsert expressions are represented in order of priority and each row will be marked with the policy corresponding to the first matching condition so here we are going to select upsert in our case because it is scd1 we are updating the records or if a new record is coming we are inserting so we will select the fourth option called as absurd if if in the expression we have to do it for all so we'll just give like 1 equal equal 1 that is you have to perform it for everything that is you have to perform for every row which is coming from the source now this is done next we'll go to the sync here we have to do important changes which is in the settings tab that is the second tab since we have enabled in alter row absurd here also we have to select allow absurd 
So we'll click on allow absurd and uncheck allow insert because here only it will either update the records which are already present in the target or if a new record is coming, it will insert. Next, when we click on absurd, it will ask us to select the key column. That is choose which column is used to determine if a row from the source matches row from the sink. How we will determine the rows. So here the key column will be citizen ID. Okay. If in the target this data is present and for this particular citizen ID, if updated record is coming from the source for let's say citizen ID 1, how we will be looking it up in the target corresponding to the record or the new row which is coming. It will be a key column. So this citizen ID will be the key column in our case. So from the list of columns, we will select citizen ID from the drop down. Okay. Now this setting looks fine. We'll try to validate the pipeline and publish the changes and perform a debug run. Publishing completed. Debug run has started. Let's come back after this completes. The pipeline succeeded. Here in the output section, we can see the output of the data flow. If we maximize it, we can see the alter row, sync one, ID pin code, address, all the column names will be displayed. Now let's go to the database. Here we are seeing the Aurora. We have made change in the CSV file here. Let's refresh or click on run again. So we can see here the Gupta has been updated. We did it with the help of ADF pipeline data flow using Altero transformation. Okay. Now, next, we are going to see a new insertion. So we'll add here a new row where we'll say the citizen ID is fifth five. The name will be cloud knowledge, first name, last name, then resides in Delhi, address is Saket, and the pin code 11.0. 017. This looks fine. We'll save this. Let's preview the changes done. So we have added one more row here with the first name and last name, city address and pin code. This we want to add in the target using our SCD. So this is a new insertion. And if we go to the pipeline in the alter row, it is already absurd means it has updated in the previous execution. Now a new row is coming, so it will insert in the sync as well. No changes needed. We are going to execute the pipeline. So we'll debug again. The pipeline is queued. It's in progress. Let's come back after its completion. And the pipeline succeeded. We'll go again. To the target database here we are seeing four rows now we'll again perform run of the sql query and here we could see that the fifth row the new row got inserted we have performed slowly changing dimension one using alter row transformation in the data flow activity of adf like we did here for the citizen last name change or insertion of new row in the same way we can do for city, address, pin code, any column. Okay. I hope you have understood the intent of this video for the SCD one. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.